We start the show this week with the election of a new council president and vice president. The gavel has been passed to Nancy Navarro as president, and Craig Rice has been elected the council's next vice president. Susan Kennedy has more on this story. Susan? Lorna, it was the changing of the guard at the county council as Vice President Nancy Navarro took over as president, the first Latina in the history of the county council. And to the residents of Montgomery County, thank you for granting me the opportunity to serve. Muchísimas gracias. Ms. Navarro says that during her term, she wants to tackle diversity issues head on as one Montgomery. The idea is that we have to preserve all of what makes us great, but understanding that we are all connected. And so when we you know, talk about, for example, the education budget, it's not just what happens in that classroom, but it's also what happens outside that school building. You know, when we talk about transportation or housing, it's not just to make sure that single family homes are available, but hey, we have an aging demographic as well. And so all these things are interconnected. Recent census numbers show 72,000 Montgomery County residents are living below the poverty line and one third of this county school children are receiving free and reduced meals. President Navarro says the county needs to provide the infrastructure and support to make sure families have what they need to be successful. People have an assumption of where the poverty is and you know what folks look like. But in reality, we're talking about middle class families, maybe a parent lost a job or two parents, etc. And, and all of a sudden they're, you know, faced with having to come to the local food bank or come to HHS and ask for services. Um, so I think that it's about being, you know, aware for us to understand that, yes, Montgomery County is great because we have a diverse socioeconomic uh, population. Um, we are not that Montgomery County that was just all wealth and just all affluence. And that's important because when we go to the state and we make our case for the things that we need. Um, we need to make sure that people understand that we're not just asking for the sake of asking. You know, we're putting forth a request to fulfill the needs of our residents. For, uh, Ms. Councilmember Craig Rice to be our new vice president. All those in favor. The council's new vice president, Craig Rice, is the youngest African-American to ever serve on the council and only the second African-American man to serve in that role. Prior to his arrival to the council, he served in the Maryland House of Delegates. He told us he plans to use that experience to make sure Montgomery County gets its fair share of the pie in Annapolis. But I think that overall our number one issue is to make sure that when we go to Annapolis we have a very uh, collaborative effort with our school system, uh, you know, whether it's MCPS or Montgomery College, uh, working with our unions, making sure that the state understands uh, the challenges that we face and how we can best address them and the support that's necessary for Montgomery County. In Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.